Hey everybody, how's it going? I wanted to share this hair tutorial with you guys today because I thought it was so unique and so beautiful that I just had to recreate it and share it with you guys. So let's get started. Before we begin, we're just going to need a handful of these painful elastics, probably about five or six of them. And then you're also going to need a hair clip that can clip away large sections of hair. We're going to begin by creating our first section and it's perfect if you just section it off right at your temple. Draw a line up as if you're doing a half up, half down ponytail, and then just secure it with your elastic. So as you can see, I'm wearing mine kind of messy and done up. It just kind of goes with the look I'm going for today. If you want to make it more of a night out appropriate look, if you sleek this back, it'll look amazing. So that ponytail that we just created, you just want to clip it out of the way as much as you can. And then we can start our next section. So this one I like to do just right behind my ears. And I'll turn around so you can see what it looks like. So now that we've created our second section, what you want to do is just unclip the first ponytail. Split it into two. Take the second ponytail that we just made, clip it up out of the way. So we're going to create two more ponytails. This one we're going to grab most of the hair, but we're going to leave out the hair at the nape of our neck. And with this ponytail, we're going to combine those two sections from our first ponytail. Then we'll just unclip that last ponytail that we made. Clearly I didn't section mine very well. And we're going to split that into two, just like we did before. Clip our new pony out of the way. You guys got this by now. And with all the remaining hair, we're going to create one last low pony. And then you just want to unclip that top ponytail. Split it into two. up our big ponytail. And you're just going to continue this till you get to the bottom of your hair. That's what you're left with. So I like to start with my top section, just loosely pulling, and as I'm pulling, it's tightening the elastic. And you just want to do small pieces at a time. So there it is you guys. I absolutely love this look. It's so perfect for spring or summer because it keeps the hair off the back of your neck. And I love how it gives the illusion of having a really long, thick, full ponytail. And trust me, it is so much easier than trying to do a French braid on yourself as well. And just so you guys know, as I was pulling apart my braid, I was looking into a mirror as well, just to make sure that it was even and that I liked the size that I was pulling it to. So don't think I was just figuring it out. I definitely look into a mirror to help me out with it. So don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And as always, I will talk to you guys soon.